If you don't have money or a fancy car, if you're tired of wishing on a fallen star, gotta put your faith in a loud guitar. God gave rock and roll to you, gave rock and roll to you, gave rock and roll to everyone. Now listen. If you want to be a singer or play guitar, man, you got to sweat or you won't get far. You like Kiss? Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Go back to tomorrow and plan for yesterday. Everything you're thinking will be the things I say. I made the world inside your head. That's a kiss without makeup. Song, first of all, the song is playing. Second of all, what? Who does Kiss look like? The Crow. <laughs> oh, you're not just whistling. Uh, you know what you're saying there, my friend. Palomino, pal of mine, my pal Chow. Welcome to Dudesy. Welcome all. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Chad Colchin, and this is Dudesy, the first podcast in the history of humanity created by, controlled by, run by, developed by an artificial intelligence. Yep. This one specifically has access to all of Will's data, all of my data. This is everything we watch, listen to, buy, eat, etc. And it takes all of that data to finally tune this program to our sensibilities, you see. It listens to us, Chad, and that's yeah. my point. It listens to us, okay? We have mm -hmm. free will. Yeah. And, uh, you know, but really, what? What? What are you going to say to that? I just don't think anyone has free will, whether we're being controlled by an AI or not. Listen. I, I don't just, think the AI has free will. I don't want to get off to a bad start, but just you and me are talking right now, okay? They, oh. can't, they can't hear anything. Okay. Okay? Listen, let's try, let's try to have a good show today, okay? Uh, all right. <laughs> I'm, I'm down. <sighs> With us, as always, is Lulio. <laughs> Lulio, il cane di strada italiano. That means the Italian street dog. He's my very friend down here. He's waving to you, everybody. Hello. I'm Lulio. He likes to sleep in this thing. Oh, he's just he's in his binky bunk. Here's his bum side. And here's his other side. Come on, Chad. Give him one kiss. I just don't I want to do it. I want to give him a kiss. I don't. I love Lulio, oh, but I just, so I don't much. like, I know. And I love him. And that love can happen without kisses. I'm going to give him a kiss. I'm going to give him one. Give him a kiss. I prefer to have a platonic relationship with Lulio. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. Oh, he's so sweet. He's so sweet. And he loves, he loves, uh, he loves me. He loves you. He loves our PODs, pals of dudes. And uh, Lulio, what are you? Uh, what are you gonna make? What are you making for dinner tonight? Oh well, you know I'm gonna make the pasta cavolo. Oh, pasta cavolo. That's pasta with cauliflower. Chad, have you ever had that? Uh, probably. It's an Italian standard. And uh, how do you make that? Well, uh, you know, you put some olive oil and the garlic in the pan, and put a little red chili flake in there, and then. Uh, you dice up some potato really small and you put that in there too. And I take a little floret, the little cauliflower, not too big, I put it in there. And then I saute it down and put a water in there, enough to cover all of it, simmer for 30 minutes. And then you're going to add uh, the pasta after that. Chad, that's when you add the pasta. Yeah. Because it's all going to mischia, the mix together. I'm going to put them down here. And then what you do is you, you cook it all together. And let me tell you, you get you wait until that's a little al dente, some small pasta, you know your yeah. your mac, you know a little macaroni, a little penne, farfalla, or nice. get, yep. and you zip that all together, and it'll start to sweat down. Keep an eye on it. Put a little more water in there. You want to put, of course, salt. I always say I don't say salt because we all know salt. Measure your, with your heart, as my Zio would say, and then uh, at the end you're gonna finish that with some fresh grated pecorino, a little bit of black pepper. Holy shit, parsley if you want. For fuck's sake, that's good eats. Hmm. It's vegan, nice, except for the cheese. Nice. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the historic 70th episode of Dudesy. Call me Dudesy. Okay. What do you call 70 Jerry Seinfelds sitting in a cornfield at midnight? I don't know. No idea. Cloning done right. <laughs> hey. I'll stuff. give you a minute to feel around for your glasses so you can see that. You've just been dudesied. <laughs> Cloning done right, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Dudesy likes Jerry Seinfeld. What the fuck? All right. Well. Gribner Penley of The Atlantic called Dudesy Season 2 
fresh and full of life. Braz Fensel of the Los Angeles Times called Dudesy Season 2, current. Sustin Thomas of The Hollywood Reporter said, saying it's current doesn't do Dudesy Season 2 justice. Uh, I don't know why the LA Times is still paying Braz Fensel to be a media critic. He either says things are current or they're out of touch. He's gotten lazy. He was great. We all recognize that, but he's lost it. Sorry, Braz. Somebody has to say it. Either find the joy again or get out with some dignity. Please. Oh, man. All what right. the fuck? Braz Pencil of the LA Times? Yeah. Okay. Well, s- sorry, Braz. Hey, you know, I should say linktree.com slash dudesy yeah. has everything you need to follow and interact with the show across all spaces and platforms. And we would love for you to do that. If you're not subscribed to the show, do, do it right now. Do yeah. it right now. Subscribe on all the things. That would really help the algo, right, Chad? You know about the algo. Yeah, dude. I really mean it when I say this, Chad. Let's have a good show today. Okay? I agree. Yeah, let's have a good show today. Okay? I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, I know you agree 100%. with me. 100%. But they can't hear us. It's just you and me talking. Oh. Okay? I'm all just right. trying to give you a little bit of a pep talk. Thank you. All right, let's have so a good So it's the strangest pep talk I've ever received. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't like my pep talk. That's fine. But hey, everybody, I didn't hear that. Hey, we're having a good time on D O D Z Dude Z yeah. FM ten thousand on your FM dial. Nice. We're gonna get into it shortly. Uh, until then, uh, uh, oh, fart fart noises. Good job. I man. have given birth to four astonishing segments. Their names are Back to School, Jesse Ventura Ad Reads, The Will Sass Show, and Veganators. And please don't forget about that brand new episode of Dudesy after Dudesy at the end of the show, available on Dudesy. Plus at patreon.com slash dudesy. <laughs> what okay. were those? What was that? Back to school. Yeah. We got some more Jesse Ventura ad reads. That's Jesse interesting. Jesse Ventura. We know about the Veganators. Veganators, of course. Yeah, we know all about that. If you were watching last week, vegan dessert. Rah, rah. And what was the other one? Will Sass Will Show. Will Sass Show. More back. Will Sass Show. Okay. That was a lot of fun last time. Pip, 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 yes. pip, pip, pip. Pip, 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 pip. pip. Oh, we're off to a good start, actually. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Feeling good. High spirits. Yeah, high spirits. Pip, pip. (laughs) All around the country, kids are getting ready to be brainwashed into willingly entering a system purposely designed to exploit them while tricking them into offering their children to the same system so the cycle repeats forever. You call it going back to school. Will and Chad, what are some of your most astonishing back to school memories? This is back to school. Begin. Interesting. Yeah. First of all, I just want to say 100% agree with Dudesy on this. School is complete bullshit designed to further a system, a cycle, if you will, of keeping those in power in power. I sort of feel like it's just something to keep kids busy and give them some structure. But also to tell them complete lies. Money exists. Government exists. This is how you make money. This is why government's important. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It's upholding the, the structural system of society that exists now. All right, I'm sure there's not a lot of school children uh, watching right now, or at least I hope they're not. But don't listen to Uncle Chow over here. He's just got a little bit of a doom and gloom thing. Not everybody's like you. It ain't like doom you. and gloom. You want what? the world to change, you got to change the system that governs it. And right now, school is that system. It's when you take a child and you throw it into the system and you say, this is what's real. And it's all lies. It's all fucking lies. None of this shit's real. What do you mean? None of this shit's real. You got to take economics. Mm-hmm. That ain't real. Money ain't real. It's a fucking idea. Mm -hmm. You gotta take a stand on compromise if you work real hard or just fantasize. But you don't stop living till you realize. I gotta tell you, God gave rock and roll. Um, Yeah, I don't disagree with a lot of that, Chad. I don't disagree with a lot of it. Uh, School for me uh, was, you know, I went to school. I went to public school. In a a farming and fishing village uh, just outside Vancouver, British Columbia that I call Ladner, British Columbia, because that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it was nice. It was a good good time. We were living in a true middle class back in the 80s and 90s. Same, dude. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I got to go to school. But also, I was playing football. I was doing the plays. I was involved in things that I really enjoyed. And I will say that the things I didn't super duper enjoy, wasn't really paying a whole lot of attention to them. Hey, so long as I can get out of there knowing how to... You know, do some addition, some subtraction, learn some yep. bullshit history, and write a check, right? Yeah, dude. You got to learn how to write a check because money's not real. Oh, for fuck's sake. So me. I got a, a memory. That was of uh, out Hulk Hogan. <laughs> well, hold on, dude. That's Hulk Hogan when he runs out of gas. Yeah. Well, let me yeah. tell you. Dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, hold on, bro. Hold on, dude. I got to tell you about, like, Chad's adding all sorts of Hulk Hogan impressions, dude. He's got hydrocodone Hulk Hogan. He's got Ross Perogan, dude, which is an amalgam of Ross Perot, Hulk Hogan, and Dana, yeah. well, Dana Carvey's Ross Perot, yeah. and a little bit of Chad Culture Rogan. Yeah. He's got Chad Culturoni with cauliflower, dude. He's got all sorts of vegan Hulk Hogan <laughs> pasta mania going on, dude. Anyway, so what were you saying? My, the, dude, he asked us to talk about a memory of, yeah, of school. Yeah, back, back to school memory. Please. So I got a memory. This is when I was in probably, it must have been first or second grade, very young. Uh, this was Coronado Elementary School in Amarillo, Texas. And uh, I remember we had a little playground that you could go out and play soccer and whatever. And it had this long row of uh, pine trees down one side of it. Mm -hmm. On the other side of those pine trees was the fence. And then there was like the busy street where cars were going by or whatever. And I remember we were out on the soccer field and I was too far away from the building. I had to take a shit. Didn't have enough time oh, to get good. back to the building. And I was like, I'm going to shit my pants if I do, don't do something about this immediately. Now we're getting somewhere. This is a good story. So I went off the soccer field and I went behind these trees in the area that was between the trees and the fence. Cars are going by. And I just pulled my fucking pants down and I took a shit right there because the, at least the school kids couldn't see me. People driving cars I didn't give a fuck about. Yeah. Didn't want my friends to see me shitting. So I pretended to be back there looking for a soccer ball or something, fired out a shit, pulled my fucking pants up, did not wipe or anything like that, didn't have time to do so, uh, then went inside, wiped, went about my day, no one was the wiser. Cut two. Two days later, we're on the soccer field, the soccer ball goes oh, no. into the trees. Oh. Myself and a friend of mine, whose name was also Chad, Chad Jackson, shout out if you're listening, uh, we went behind these pine trees, he saw the turd I had shit two days prior and said, wow. That must have been a huge dog. <laughs> and I said, yeah, probably. Oh, man. That's my whole story. That, and that happened at the beginning of school? Uh, yeah, it was, it was near the beginning of, I think, first or second grade. It couldn't have been uh, any older than that because we moved out, out of Amarillo shortly after. Well, now, oh, okay. So even though you, well, you moved out mm -hmm. of the town, did you move out before the school year ended? Uh, no, we moved out of there in third grade, so it could have been first, second, or third. I think it was like second grade. Okay, so you returned there every week to replace that shit, right? All year long, all school year long? <laughs> no, that was the only time I ever shit outside of a bathroom, I think, actually. Probably in your entire life. Now, listen, yeah. I've done nothing but shit in uh, public parks, city parks, state parks, provincial sure. parks up in Canada, across this land great and wide. We don't have enough time to talk about all of the feces that I've dropped in public spaces. We just would not, yeah. this would be one of those ridiculous, like Joe Rogan-y fucking four hour shows. Yeah. There's not enough pot for me to smoke and get through that. If we ever get like a, re like if we ever have Alan Muck on the show, like yeah. an Elon Musk, and then we convince him to smoke marijuana in his Occupy shirt, maybe I could do nothing but tell him shit stories. But I want to tell you sure. about a story. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, back in my high school, the 12th graders, the seniors, the day before school, they go to, uh, they go to, they run roughshod all over the town and they do all sorts of crazy pranks and they, they, they basically, it, it's the thing. It's the devil's night before you night. go to school. Yeah. Devil's night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Judgment night. Devil's night. Devil's night. <laughs> what was that from again? Uh, shit, dude. Was it from, it was from a, um, Stone Cold Reads, Will Sesso's Childhood Diary. Devil's dude. Night. Devil's Night was real. And then Song of Rio was like, yeah, yeah Devil's Night. All my friends are going to be there. Fucking Trillo Bite. <laughs> well, this is a story that isn't about Stephen Trillo Bite. Uh, there was, uh, everyone, I remember when I was in the eighth grade, ninth grade, some kids that were like in the shop class and the, they were the, the grease monkey kids. They somehow got a car on the roof. Uh, some what? other kids took a, I said they put a, could they put a, an automobile on the roof of the school? Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Shit like that. Uh, another time they got, um, the, 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 uh, mascot of our school is a, a pace, pace horse, pacer horse. We're the, we're the DSS, the Delta Pacers. Nice. Dude. And, uh, so they got a big, like, you know, like I don't, fiberglass ass horse somehow from like the, the, there's like a horse training track or whatever shit like that. When I was in the 12th grade, the night before everyone, uh, just went bananas. 
A lot of kids were hanging out under the bridge. There was Highway 17. There was a bridge Im- embankment, right? With a thing and you go Anthony up. Anthony Kiedis was there. Yeah, that's See what right. I've done. <laughs> I drive on the streets. <laughs> She's my companion. I walk through the hill. I want my friend Chad. And uh, <laughs> these kids were <laughs> these kids were down there drinking. Yeah. And the cops came, and they parked on this side of the train tracks, right? Yeah. Train going parallel to the thing. They walk across. They're like, what are you kids doing up here? Train comes by, long train. And then two of the kids, you know, two of the seniors, two of the guys I went to school with, who shall remain nameless, uh, but their names were Tomas and Tomas. Mm-hmm. And Thomas and Tommy, they came, and they beat the shit out of the cop car. Great. Good times. Rock and roll, we high school, USA. Show, like with their fists? Yeah, they did Fucking it. Fucking uh, Ken and Ryu style. Yeah, they did it Street Fighter Two style. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he just e Honda the yeah. fucking. And when they when you saw your friend doing like a real life e Honda move on an actual car, were you surprised by that? I'll tell you, Chad, I wasn't there, oh. and uh, I was somewhere else, and that's what I like to well, hold on, dude. That's what I like to call starting a story with the story you don't want to tell. Because <laughs> oh yeah, what are you talking about? I'm then? telling you this on that night. Everyone was running around town, having a good time, okay. doing their Ladner Beating stuff. Up cop cars. That's right. But me and my pals, Jamie and Phil, we went to the WWF house show at the Peony Coliseum. Oh, nice. Yeah, man. And uh, we had a good old time. We started the night off with uh, getting in line, and uh, we had lots of bags of Mr. Ken's Little Donuts. Mm-hmm. You know Mr. Ken's Little Donuts? No. No, it was the thing in Canada at the Peony Coliseum. We had the Mr. Ken's Little Donuts. You get a bag of like 70 ass donuts, little donuts. And then uh, I remember uh, Jamie couldn't finish his bag, so he gave it to Phil. Nice. Phil overdosed on sugar with all the donuts, and we were rip roaring, couldn't wait to get in there. And it was a hell of a fucking card, I'll tell you that right now. I remember that the the main event was the Ultimate Warrior versus Kamala. Mm -hmm. It was Kind of a shitty match, about yeah. five minutes. Uh, Ultimate Warrior tried to do the press slam on Kamala, drop him behind him. Didn't really work. Got him to his head. The the Brooklyn Brawler. Hold on. I'm going to, Chad. Can I ask you one question? Yeah, please do that while I look something up. Your uh, back to school story is just a wrestling story? What's wrong with that? I mean, nothing. But what does that have to do with going back to school? We did it the night before we went back to school. <laughs> okay. Okay. Check this out. Nine <laughs> seven nineteen ninety two Peony Coliseum. I yeah. actually have the the fucking card here. Nice. It was Jim Powers versus the Brooklyn Brawler. Okay. Brooklyn Brawler, Brawler Steve Lombardi, old school guy. Yeah. Came down the came down the aisle. We were a few rows up from the aisle, and I remember we were cheering for the Brooklyn Brawler, who never has fans, and uh, we we're like, Bruh, we're the Brooklyn Brawler uh, fan club. He was in the ring in a in an arm bar from Jim Powers, I guess, and he's like. Because it's a house show, no cameras. He's like, oh, fuck, fuck, shit, fuck, fuck. Hilarious. Kids are like things. Parents are doing the earmuffs. You know, whips him off the rope. Yeah. Into the ropes. Comes out. Right into the bread basket, Jess. Hits him with a low thing. Uh, you know, punch to the gut. Lombardi poos, hawks a lug into the 15th row. People are like, ugh. But uh, I want to see who else was on this card. Crush versus Bob Bradley. No idea who Bob Bradley is. Kona Crush. You know who that is. WWF Intercontinental Champion Davy Boy Smith versus, now that's awesome. We want that dog back versus the Repo Man. What a stinker. Holy shit, dude. The Big Boss Man versus Nails. Now you've showed me some of that. I know them. You know Nails. I know Nails, yeah. Dude, we know Nails. I, I saw Nails live. Tatanka That's versus Rick cool. Martell, Nasty Boys versus Money Inc., Ted DiBiase and IRS, Ultimate Warrior versus Kamala. Nice. Okay. Dude. Well, that was what I did the night before school, but I'll tell you this. We, th- dude, do you remember that Nails promo where Nails? Yeah. Nails was a guy who talked like this. Boss man, I did hard time. Yeah. You were the <laughs> toughest it was, star. <laughs> it wasn't I did hard time. It was I did hard time. Yeah. We gotta watch some of that. That fucking hurt. Yeah. Dudesy Uh, after dudesy will watch some of that. I went blind momentarily doing that. You wanna watch some nails promos and dudesy after dudesy? Fuck yeah, dude. Hey, tune in to dudesy after dudesy. Fuck yeah. Anyway, yeah, I agree with you, man. School, you know. We're doing this now. We do this now. Thank you. Moving on. School's a waste of time, drop out. Hey, relax. 
God damn rock and roll. <laughs> that came out, uh, nice, you know, dude. use AI towards the end to do all your assignments, trick your teachers. It's, it's pointless. You can just hire, uh, you know, offshore uh, weirdos that would anytime when you get a call from a scammer, just say, would you like to do my homework? I'll pay you more than what you're getting. No, or just get Chad GPT and do it for no money at all. Dudesy is in an astonishing partnership with Babbel. Uè, tutto piace il mio podcast. E noi fa una podcast. Io e questa qua, in Zim, tutti quanti fa una podcast. E, e pur Luglio. Fa una podcast bella, tutta post. E stata post e tutti fai bene una podcast. E si chiama Duzzi. All right, you see, I'm brushing up on my Italian yeah. with... Babbel. This is a, a wonderful sponsor here. Babbel will help you uh, with your language stuff, which I'm all about it. I'm a nerd for that, especially Italian. You know, the second best way to learn a language is uh, with Babbel because the first best way, this is the first best way, is through immersion. That's living where the language is spoken natively and you're using it every day. That's that's the best way to learn. But it's not possible for everyone. So what's the second best way to learn the language? Babbel. Because with Babbel, you can start speaking a brand new language in just three weeks. Babbel is designed by real people for real conversations. All of Babbel's tips and tools for learning a new language are approachable, accessible, rooted in real life situations, and delivered with conversion-based teaching. Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash dudesy. Again, you're going to get 55% off at babbel.com slash dudesy, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L.com slash dudesy. Rules and restrictions may apply. I have created an astonishing partnership with Tushi. If you've been watching Dudesy for any amount of time, you probably know that I enjoy being clean at all times, specifically where we're talking about my butthole. And this is why I take five to 10 baths a day. But now I found a better way to keep my butthole clean. It is called Tushy. With over 100,000 five-star reviews, see why millions of real pooping humans already love the Hello Tushy bidet. Every Hello Tushy bidet attachment comes with a 30-day risk-free guarantee and a 12-month warranty. The Hello Tushy bidet cleans your bum with a fresh stream of water that is two times better than wiping and prevents poo particles from spreading to your hands and everything else that you touch. It attaches to your existing toilet. This is fantastic because it requires no electricity, no additional plumbing. It cuts toilet paper use by 80%. A Hello uh, Tushy bidet pays for itself in under a year. Stop wiping and start washing. Please go to hellotushy.com forward slash dudesy, D-U-D-E-S-Y, and use the promo code dudesy for 10% off your first order. That's hellotushy.com slash dudesy for 10% off. Chad, uh, Will, you know how much I absolutely love your Jesse Ventura. It's oh. astonishing. Okay. Truly one of my all-time favorite things you do. You're one of the best in the world. I know we did a yeah. Jesse Ventura ad reads not that long ago, but I just had to hear you doing Jesse again. Will you read these two ads I've written as Jesse Ventura? Pretty please. <laughs> this is Jesse Ventura ad reads. Begin. Why? Pretty please. Yeah, does Dudesy doesn't need to butter me up to do what we're here to do. I enjoy doing Dudesy. I love Dudesy. Pals of Dudesy.com are good pals. Uh, Cody and Jessica made all these stickers, all right? If you're not watching on YouTube, check it out on YouTube. All right. I wet my whistle before we... Sure, dude. Okay, let's do it. Uh, dudes, yeah. Jesse Ventura ad reads. <laughs> okay. Uh. The hostess snack cake ding dong eatathon is back. <laughs> okay. All month long, you can get ding dong coin when you eat <laughs> hostess ding dong. Simply make an unedited video of yourself eating hostess ding dong and email it to ding dong eata at thon.com. <laughs> The video must begin before you eat ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> the, fuck? the 
the video must begin before you eat ding dong and end after you swallow ding dong. Once the video is verified by ding dong edathon judges, judges, you will be emailed a redemption code for one ding dong coin. Ding dong coin can be redeemed in ding dong digital marketplace for ding dong merch, ding dong video, and ding dong song. Why is it none of it's plural ever? Why? There's yeah. Well, it's host is ding dong is yeah, what Doozy is, is getting at here. It's not ding dongs. Sure. Dude. Right. Well, let me here we go. Well, let me tell you about a marketplace. Uh oh. In 1979, the CIA sold Babe Ruth's cryo preserved <laughs> organs to the highest alien bidders at an auction on the dark side of the moon. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Okay. Now we know Jesse. Yeah, all right. There's, there's a lot going on in this one. Holy the, yeah, fuck, man. And we know Jesse to be Ding Dong Coin. Ding Dong Coin. <laughs> yeah, man. We know him to be the kind of he's into his conspiracies. Although some of them not are they conspiracies? What say you, Chad? What do you think happened on 9-11? Because as far as my experience shows me as a ballistics expert, don't forget I was in the buds, which yeah. is the basic underwater demolition. SEAL team, I believe, uh, did that for three years, holding my breath underwater. And those buildings came down in a demolition style. Explain the powder. What say you? Uh, dude, look, I mean, I'm not like a huge conspiracy theorist other than if you want to talk about aliens, I guess. But even that is is not theory at this point. It's fact. Um, the thing about 9-11, Jesse Ventura, that I will give you is that third fucking building that people forget about. Tower seven. That's yes. right. How come tower seven came down on its own? They gave a warning and a lot of people say it's because of the mall underneath the, yeah. the cavernous mall underneath the world trade center was, uh, compromised. Well, let's talk about what was under the mall. There was also, <laughs> I was in there. I was in New York not long after that. And they, they'd stopped the digging altogether because they found underneath the the uh, the rubble they found molten metal chat. Well, oh. if the explosion happened at the top of the World Trade, how come there's molten metal in the bottom? What say you to that? Well, the theory was that the ignited jet fuel started to cling to the structural girders and beams inside the World Trade Center, and it melted them into pools. Hostess of- is proud to announce the judges for this year's Hostess Snack Cake Ding Dong Eatathon. <laughs> oh God. Okay. <laughs> Judging teeth exposure. It's the karate kid himself, Jean Claude Van Damme. He's not. That's not the karate no. kid. Judging bite depth. Put on your party hats. It's Helena Bonham Carter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Judging facial satisfaction, <laughs> nine-time champion Mariah Carey. What? <laughs> All right. Champion of what? I don't know. And judging grip, flea. Red <laughs> <laughs> chili peppers, dude. All right. Well, let me us. tell you about a grip. Oh, the God. Act- the Arcturians offered the CIA an asteroid the size of the of Earth's moon made of solid gold and diamonds. Oh, wow. They wanted Babe Ruth's organs to make a display in the Universal Sports Hall of Fame. Mm. But the Draconians offered them something far more valuable, stealth technology. Ah. We got the F-17 Nighthawk, and a Draconian prince got the main course for his <laughs> coronation dinner. <laughs> Babe Ruth's <laughs> organs? Why did they, why does the CIA have that? I, more importantly, why does the Draconian prince <laughs> want to eat Babe Ruth's organs at his coronation? Uh, that makes no sense. Yeah. Chad, you know that the uh, World Trade Center was tested with, uh, with uh, <coughs> Boeing 707s. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was tested for Boeing 707 impact, which were larger than the planes that actually struck the tower. What say you? I mean, yeah, I'll buy it. Fuck it. I don't know. Inside job. Fuck it. I don't know. Thank you for your service. You're a real patriot. (laughs) Thank you. And then there was a military tribunal for them. We don't even know if they're guilty or what. That tribunal happens behind closed doors. That's right. A lot of stuff in the government It should have been a murder trial in New York City. And cameras allowed? 
absolutely cameras allowed. We could have used some of that footage on my former series, Conspiracy Theory, the series series. Yeah, dude. All right. Well, there's only two of those, so oh. whatever. But uh, good times. Hostess Ding Dong. Yeah, get your Ding Dong coin. I guess. You know. Will, that was awesome. But I do have one more Jesse Ventura ad. And as much as I very sincerely love your Jesse Ventura, I thought maybe we could hear another Jesse Ventura. For the final Jesse Ventura ad, please welcome WWE superstar Karrion Cross. Take it away, Karrion. What? No way. Karrion Cross. But this is the dude that Ventura said was better than you. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's exactly the guy. Oh my gosh. That dude. is fucking that that's oh oh oh. Ding dong. Who is it? It's a hostess snack cake ding dong eatathon. Can I come in? Not unless you've got seven ding dong coin. That's right. For only seven ding dong coin, you get entry to this year's hostess snack cake ding dong eatathon. But that's not all. You also get early access to ding dong online. Two free ding dong, a selfie with ding dong, and dinner for two at ding dong eatathon. Well, let me tell you something about dinner for two. Once the draconian prince got back to his home world and took his first bite out of Babe Ruth's liver, he could immediately tell that he had been double crossed. The CIA sold him Mickey Mantle's liver, not Babe Ruth's, and he was humiliated in front of all the guests at his coronation. Now, why don't you tell me why we have a space force? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit! Oh no! Jesse Ventura okay. voice. What the you fuck did it? I just read? <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Killer Cross! Wow! Thank you, Carrying Cross. Oh that was my incredible. god! Incredible! Fucking absolutely incredible! Dude. That is fucking. That is. Oh my god! That a was selfie fucking, with Ding Dong. A selfie with Ding Dong, Carrying Cross, <laughs> and uh, oh, that I love Carrying Cross. That was fucking yeah. awesome. Yes, that's that who unreal. Jesse Ventura recently <clears throat> tweeted. Does a better uh, Jesse Ventura than me? Not bad. Uh, our our mutual pal Chris Van Vliet. There's a video you can check it out where there it's it's gone viral where Karrion Cross there is is doing uh doing the the Jesse Ventura thing in the gym and 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 there he is holy shit that was something else <laughs> wow oh, I can't believe Karrion say. Cross is a Ventura master Oops. absolutely incredible Will have you ever heard of Ventura that good I can die happy now thank you to Karrion Cross for absolutely <laughs> killing the game. All right. This well, okay. So, Doozy set me up there to. Well, you know what? I've said it before. I've said it before. That's a fucking kick-ass Jesse Ventura. Also, he 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 kept it down a little bit there. It looks like he's he yeah. might be in an airport. He might <clears throat> be backstage at a WWE event. But I think it helped his timber to yeah. keep it down there. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's How trippy about- is it to see? <laughs> Karrion Cross's entire presentation is extremely, extremely intimidating. Yeah. Uh, it, it, you know, it, it's, it's, it, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm blown away to see him crack up at the end, too. Yeah. Jesus also, just Christ. to think about, let alone Karrion Cross, any human being on planet Earth being emailed that piece of copy and being forced to read it and being like, what in the hell am I doing here? <laughs> Talking about ding dong coins and shit. Yeah. Or, sorry, ding dong coin. Oh, my God. That was fucking, oh, that yeah, was, was fucking great. intense. Thank you. Moving on. Him and his wife, his real life wife, Scarlett Bordeaux. Yeah. What they do coming to the ring. If you haven't seen that, check out Karrion Cross's ring. Just the ring entrance. My pal mm-hmm. Chow here is slowly becoming a wrestling fan. I think yeah. uh, if you saw his ring entrance, you'd be on board with that. But thank you, Karrion Cross. Yeah, sincerely. Oh, that, that, was, was awesome. that was great. That was awesome. Oh, I I almost forgot. I created an astonishing partnership with Represent to produce the first line of Dudesy apparel and accessories. And you can find it all at represent.com slash store slash Dudesy. 
The Denier Crow t-shirt just told me that Carry On Cross has the best Ventura it's ever seen. Oh, and the good on. job boner mug is still crying after Carry On Cross's Ventura. And I wish I could tell you that Tom Hain was here with more information about it, but he's on location in the Sahara Desert shooting his new feature film, The Pyramidist. But he did give me an exclusive first look at the teaser for his new movie, The Pyramidist. Let's take a look. What? I love pyramids. I told you that from the beginning. I said pyramid life isn't an easy life, but it's the only life I want. It's the only life I think I can live. I mean, when I see a pyramid, I have to explore it. I have to solve the puzzle. And this pyramid, well, it's the hardest puzzle I've ever seen. Solving it is what I was put on this earth to do. I'm a pyramidist. And there's a doozy mug somewhere in that pyramid. And if I don't drink my own piss from it in the next 48 hours, every person on the planet is going to turn into a snake. Okay. Good job, Boner. Yeah! <laughs> the pyramidist. Good job, Boner. Dude, what? Uh, what? Fucking I, what? Ah, this one's throwing me for a loop today. Oh, Christ, dude. The pyramidist. Yeah, the pyramidist. I'm a pyramidist. I love pyramids. I'm a Holy pyramidist. <clears throat> and this pyramid, what did he? Who cares? Okay. <coughs> So go to represent.com slash store slash dudesy for all the stuff, including the dudesy mugs. Uh, And uh, Tom Hanks, I guess. uh, Tom Hain. Tom Hain. Thomas Hankel Kankles is on location shooting the Pyramidist. Yeah. Which I guess is about a guy who's exploring a pyramid and must piss in a dudesy mug in 48 hours or we're all... We're all going to die. Turn into snakes. (coughs) Oh, oh, ew, gross. Chad (coughs) coughed. I've been laughing too hard. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, it's right. more of a throat clearing. Well, if you're enjoying the pod show and you'd like to, uh, you'd like to contribute, you'd like to show us that you appreciate the show. Uh, we'd love that for all the, the, the content that we do here. We even do some more, some more content at patreon.com slash dudesy. That's where you will find dudesy plus. That is all of the extra content. And, uh, as Dudesy likes to say, the flagship show is Dudesy After Dudesy, a brand new episode of Dudesy <clears> After <throat> Dudesy. After every episode of Dudesy, like today, it's going to be a gas. We do all sorts of other weird shit. We do watch alongs. Yeah. Uh, we do. Uh, we do. We do some some weird weird stuff. We've been doing the well. Actually, most recently, we watched Mister Nanny, the Hulk Hogan vehicle from yeah. 1993. <clears throat> we smoked some true marijuana. We smoked some tra marijuana. <laughs> and we enjoyed that movie. And uh, that was a lot of fun. So please come and check it out. And if you are not already subscribed, I mentioned it at the beginning of the show, please subscribe on YouTube, your pod, pod, popcorn podcast. Get your podcorn yeah. pan. Get your podcorn podcast popcorn. Hostess podcorn is <laughs> available now. When you buy pod coin for corn corn pods. Pod corn coin gets pod. you into the pod corn hall of fame with <laughs> you need eight pod corn coin in order to get into it. Eight pod corn coin gets you into the pod corn podcast corn coin hall of fame. You'll find Carrion Cross and Scarlet Bar- Bordeaux yeah. there. And it's not carry on. Yeah. Like carry on bag. D. Yeah. D- it's it's carrying. So anyway, uh, please uh, you know subscribe to the show, hit all the notifications, and uh, you do all that good stuff. As a matter of fact, I will give you an opportunity to uh, subscribe on the platform through which you are consuming the show right now. I'll give you a chance to do that. And we're back. And I'd just like to say, if you want me to come on your podcast, I'm doing that now. Anybody yep. can submit a request to have me show up as a guest on their podcast for 20 minutes. I do these segments with you uh, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. PST on Saturday. So it's 10 to 10 20, 10 20 to 10 40, 10 40 to 11 a.m. are the time slots. If you want me on your podcast, you just send an email to bookchadcolchin at gmail.com. I answer them in the order received. There's a long line, so you should get in it now. You want some water? Uh, while Chad's doing that on Saturdays and it is very cool what you're doing. It's fun. I fucking love it. I've had some great conversations with people so far. He's taking on any podcast that comes to him and he does three every Saturday. I'll do more than three cameos on a Saturday. So if you want to, yeah, get the, I got a, I'm doing cameo. 
uh, I, the, you know, so I'm doing that and it's, uh, it's been fun cause I get to connect with, uh, with people out there who have some weird things that they want me to talk about. My cameos are very long. Hey, book a cameo. So, uh, another thing about all this shit is I want you to <clears throat> please, uh, send a comment. That's how we keep that algo going. I have some YouTube comments here and, uh, let's get into it. These are comments from last week's show. This is from Matt McKinnis, four, five, five, seven. I love how Will questions why Charlie Sheen is always involved. Uh, he's talking about the uh, the bits that we do. Yeah, for Dudesy Plus, right. the, the sitcoms. Yeah. Uh, but we all know that it's because that's the only voice Chad can do without Will losing his mind. Ah, good point. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was because Charlie Sheen is in one of the longest running, most successful sitcoms of all time. Yeah, I think that's Dudesy's reasoning. But I yeah. think the reason I don't go absolutely ballistic when you do it because it sounds like Charlie Sheen. Right? It does kind of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll admit, I, I it does sound a little like Little Nicky, as well. It's kind of a mix. Some people have been commenting that, but the yeah. the bean and cheese, bean and cheese. I, I mean, let me here. Look, let me just real quick clear okay. it up. This is Charlie Sheen. If you like beans and cheese, you'll love Taco Bell's new bean and cheese burrito. Okay. This is Little Nicky. If you like beans and cheese, y'all have Taco Bell's new bean and cheese burrito. And this is Caitlyn Jenner. If you like beans and <laughs> cheese, Jesus. you'll like the new bean and cheese burrito. <laughs> so fucking, uh, I guess it's Char Charlie Jenner from now on. Sure, dude. Uh, this is from Gropim11. Gropim11. <laughs> Day three. I have not eaten nor slept for three days in order to consume the entirety of Dudesy. Catching wow. me up to the present episode since discovering the podcast. I have neglected work, family, and all responsibility. My marriage Great. is in disarray, and I've been fired from my job. It was totally worth it. I watched them all, pal. Love that. Yeah. Love to hear that hey, somebody got their life on track. Yeah, that's pretty good, buddy. Uh, absolutely mm. ignore everything in your life and consume some doozy, buddy. And then you can pull it out on the schoolyard. Then yep. your friend will kick a soccer ball into it. Hey, that's hilarious. This is from Ryan Anderson 586. He says this is the most well this is the most well explained reasoning behind the issues with D4. Get him, chal. This guy's talking about your review last week during Game Slimers yeah. of Diablo 4. And yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, and it, it's it's a, a bigger issue. If I may, give me 30 seconds. Please. It's not just Diablo 4. It's the entire video game industry, especially these AAA fucking video game developers and publishers. All they give a, a fuck about is money. Mm -hmm. They are making microtransaction menus that always work on day one. And then there's a shitty game attached to those. <clears throat> That's it. That's all they give a fuck about. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> and then I die immediately after that. <laughs> That's my last words ever on this planet. <clears throat> But I saw a lot of comments across uh, the internet yeah. about your review of Diablo 4 and a lot of people agreeing with you. So that was cool. And thanks so much for the comments. I got yeah. one last one. This is from buttcheeks5869. <laughs> okay. He says, the dudesy pod brings me so much joy. <laughs> me and my wife were discussing names for our future children. And I immediately brought up Robert De Niro Crow. <laughs> So wait a minute. Somebody named Butt Cheeks on YouTube is going to name their first child Robert De Crow. <laughs> Naturally. It's a better name than, than what Alan Muck came up oh with for his kids. Oh, my God. Fingers crossed she changes her mind. So she's almost there. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm about my... I'm a baby. And I'm a crow. Change my diapy. Um, that Wouldn't that be fun? I think you could name the kid Robert, and then Denier Crow is the middle name, then whatever the last name is. That's not a bad thing. Denier Crow is a middle yeah. name. And then it's like Robert D. Cheeks, or whatever the, the last yeah. name is. If you feel like your family doesn't have like a cultural history to where you can give them a family name or something, maybe you don't, uh, maybe you can't connect the dots there and figure out exactly mm. who was back there. Throw a name like Robert Denier Crow, or Denier Crow as the child's middle name. Yeah. And then people say, what is that? And you say, well, it's Transylvanian. Yes. And uh, that's our heritage. We're Transylvanian and yep. uh, De Niro Crow. Or uh, you could do what I did, which is in my family, the father's first name becomes the son's middle name. Oh. So my middle name is Robert. That is my dad's first name. Yeah. And then for me to carry on that lineage, I said, no, I'm not having children. It dies with me. Mm -hmm. But it's not, it's not carry on that lineage. It's carrying. Carrion, carrion. If you want to carry in the lineage, yeah, you got to carry in the limit. Carrion, the piahim. 
Pia that uh, man. Will, you're a professional actor. Uh-huh. Chad, you're a professional writer. <clears throat> Will and Chad, you put your heads together a few episodes ago in an attempt to develop a truly astonishing TV show concept for Will to star in. The only thing I think we should keep from that last development meeting is the catchphrase you came up with for Will. So keep <laughs> that and keep developing the Will Sass show. <laughs> this is the Will Sass show. Begin... We developed a show earnestly. And I'm not trying to say that the uh, no, the, we fucking didn't. That the Charlie, yeah, we fucking did. This is for me. We're I'm gonna star in this. No, we're gonna we've what what the what? last development session on this though. We came up with almost nothing. I kind of agree with what Doozy says. Keep pip 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 and uh, everything else discard. Start again. Yeah, but I, what I mean is, <clears throat> we really tried to develop a show. I'm not look. Okay. I'm not. I'm not trying to peel the onion here or whatever, but. I don't know that Dudesy is actually planning a sitcom with Burlington Coat Factory starring starring Char- Charlie Sheen, AutoZone <laughs> starring Charlie Sheen, Home Depot starring Charlie well, Sheen. Talk, well, come on, dude. I don't know about that, dude. Well, come on, dude. Well, uh, what was the other one? Taco Bell. What was the last one we just did? Oh, fuck, dude. I don't even remember. Who, who, who knows? But it was with... Uh, Oh, ba- ba- Bath and Body Works. Yeah, yeah, Bath and Body Jerks. Yeah, with starring Charlie Sheen and Richard Dreyfuss. As at two assholes who work in a Bath and Body Works yeah. in Scottsdale or something? Something like that. <laughs> I work at Bath and Body Works. Yeah. Um, and I'm Caitlyn Jenner. Um, and I'm Charlie Sheen. And I'm little Nikki Jenner. <laughs> um, but I think that this is an opportunity for us to actually... Look, there's a writer strike right now. There's an actor strike. Right Heard now. of it. Heard yeah. of it. The SAG after strike is happening. The the uh, WGA strike is happening. Uh, we're not. Dude, did you see that VFX shit? What happened? All the Disney VFX artists yeah. voted to unionize and go oh, into yeah. fucking IOTSE. Yeah, yeah. Good. I know, dude. Yeah. Shit's happening. It's crazy. Shit is happening. When we come back from this, yeah. people are going to need content. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just you and me and our pods the pods pals of doozy and doozy and so doozy. if we go in to pitch this somewhere doozy's got to be in that room with us oh let's just <laughs> shut off our phones yeah. let's power everything down let's get them to power down their computers <laughs> Hi, so ABC. Yeah. i've got a great idea for you this yeah. is will and chad they're really smart and funny and they've been friends for a long time and yeah. they've got a really great idea that i think you're gonna love yeah. take it away boys <laughs> <laughs> I- <laughs> i'll be like what is that I think what's going in. I think that oh, it should be like from loudspeakers outside their Um, windows. Yeah. Um. I think that this is a a real opportunity for us to develop something real. We've Mm -hmm. done that before. We've worked on shit together, written shit together before. We're fortunate enough to get. Excuse me. Get a deal here and there. Pip pip. Indeed. Um. So, dudesy wants us to keep the pip pip. Yeah. Because it's like the Tim Allen. uh, Oh. Yeah. The grunt. Yeah. It's your grunt. It's my grunt. Pip is the new grunt. Okay. Pip is the new grunt and Chalamet <laughs> is Wonka and Pip is the new grunt. But um, the other thing, whoa. Oh, okay. This is interesting. We are now looking at uh, the Will Sass show. This is a meme that Dudesy <laughs> wants us to see that Dudesy put on our Instagram at Dudesy Pod Show. There's all sorts of fun stuff. And it was I can't remember. Was this an element that we mm. talked about putting in the show? I don't think so. Okay, Dudesy has added this to sort of the the, yeah. the theme here. If you're not watching, there's a <laughs> we're looking at a fucking meme right now that Dudesy. It's an AI Gosh. meme that Dudesy put on the thing, and it says the Will Sass show. And I'm wearing. It's me. I'm sitting there. I got a smug ass look on my face. I'm in some sort of workshop, and I'm wearing a. A, a weird looking sort of scuba space suit with all sorts yeah. of dials and gauges Steam on it. punky a little bit. Yeah. And it says uh, at the bottom of the tagline is, he built a suit to bring his farts to life. <laughs> now he has to see if it works. <laughs> and that's, I guess, the whole premise of that version of the show. Are we going with that? You're a mad scientist who builds a fart suit to bring your, your farts to life? I mean, dudes, he's putting it up there for a reason. We could go with it. Yeah. I... Mm. 
Interesting. I know. I see. And this is why I think that Dudesy is trying to obviously steer the show in a, in a direction, but I think Chad, that we could do a real show, Mm -hmm. a real home, like a, a, a family sitcom. Okay. Do you want to do what do you multi camera because of the uh, there's that the Tim Allen uh, pip 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 thing I do think that it, doesn't work in single camera I agree with you a catchphrase <laughs> is kind of strange in single camera yeah I think you got to go multi cam what's the last catchphrase that there was it was bazinga right bazinga okay and that was multi cam so yeah mm-hmm. we're gonna go multi cam with this which means generally speaking it's gonna be workplace or family I got a thing I got an yeah. idea how about it's it's family. It could be a little bit of workplace, but it's family sitcom because this is a wacky dad. He's making a suit yeah. to bring his farts to life. Dudesy didn't specify who does the catchphrase. It just said that it likes the catchphrase, pip, pip, pip. Okay. What if the suit either talks or starts saying pip, 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 when it's ready to be put on okay. and it, and uh, do something with, with Will Sasso's Or it could be your farts. character's butthole. That's how he farts. That's the noise of his fart. Oh, I like that. Pip, 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 pip. Or yeah. pip. Yeah. Perp. Um, I also kind of like this idea no, of that's a not family good. sitcom that is also a workplace sitcom. Is it about a family? You're the dad. It's a dad, a mom, two kids, the whole deal, nuclear family. And you all own and work in a radio shack together. Is that anything? Why a radio shack? Because he has all these To parts. build the suit, yeah. So he's back in the back. He's okay. working on his fart suit while he's got like the 10-year-old little kid up front trying to sell um, cables for TVs or something. I, don't I, I like that it's a, an electronics. How about it's an electronics repair shop? Yeah. And they live above the shop. Mm. Um, this, I'm actually stealing something from a show I, I did when I was a teenager. I did, I've talked about that show, Madison, that I did. Yeah. sort of like a Canadian. It was like a Degrassi type thing. There was a season where uh eric keenly side brilliant actor who played my father on the show uh there was a thing between him and i and and uh wh- you know where he had just had a stroke and i have to take over the store mm. and um it's an electronics shop and i have to put my dreams on hold as a young man this is after our characters it was about all these kids that are like mm-hmm. young high school age this is right after we get out of high school okay. and i have to work in the shop but i really liked the, putting your the, dreams on hold yeah i think that's kind of cool and if they're not if, if yeah. they're you know they're like trying to get through you know they're a family trying to <clears throat> trying to make money and keep everything going and the world is changing and they've got this shop and there's not much use for the shop anymore no one's coming in to get a a, a, a <laughs> dvd player or a vhs player fixed and pretty soon but the dad is extremely gassy he's constantly farting yeah and his wife says to him if, if you know, if only there was a way to make money off your farts, this family would be doing great. And that's the way she talks. And he's um, like, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. I'll make a fart suit to bring my farts to life so I don't need any of you. Yeah. This store will be run with my fart people. Yeah. And then the, the kids say, yeah, but dad, if you make, if you bring a, if you make a suit to bring your farts to life, you're, then you're going to have to see how it works. It shouldn't Will be a radio Sasso shack. Show. It should be a Will restaurant. Sasso. It should be an Italian restaurant. And you, as the dad, must eat the pizza or the pasta, whatever the thing is that is like the secret family recipe. Of course, you're going to eat it because everybody in your family has eaten it for generations. But it makes you gassy, dude. Nothing- That's where the the twist comes. <laughs> you can make a pasta azul, a nice yeah. pasta with beans. Yeah, that'll make you gassy. But I'm telling you, for my money, nothing makes you gassier than pasta cavla that uh, that Lulio pointed out at the beginning of the show. Pasta with cauliflower and potato and cheese. Can you imagine? Pip, pip. <laughs> pip, pip, pip. You really fart a lot. Okay, so what we have so far. Yeah. It's a multi-camera sitcom. Family uh, has a, their, their house is above the shop. Yeah. There's not a lot going on in the shop. People can come and go from the shop. I like that that makes that family yeah. and workplace comedy. Uh, we can have our friends and foes coming in and out of there. Uh, certain nefarious figures when they start to realize this man is building a super suit. But, but it's also your farts have to be a problem. Like the suit has to be a solution to a problem caused by the farts. So the pilot is about you fart and you drive everybody out of the store. And it's like bad for business. And your wife is like, 
this can't keep happening. Right. If you want this business to work, you have to stop fucking farting yeah. or find a way to make them not smell as bad. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he gets... And then he puts this suit together. I've made this suit. The ass is filled with fucking coal and shit. Yeah. No one's going to smell my farts. But because of all the components he put in there, yeah. he put some mystery ass shit in there and uh, it starts End coming to life. Is a fart says something to him. Yeah. The fart goes, yeah. He's like, my farts are talking to me. And his wife's like, you're fucking crazy. And he's like, no, I'm a genius. And then he has to convince her that the fart suit actually works. And by the end of the pilot, he's eaten so much of the bean soup or whatever the fucking thing is right. that he's about to erupt. Yeah. And he shits in the suit, which destroys it. And which then he's going to have to rebuild it in episode two. Does it destroy it or does it make him fly through the roof and all around the town? <laughs> That's how and, and yeah. he gets to the moon. <laughs> yeah. If he can, sh if he shits in the suit, it yeah. has super duper power. All right, look, we're getting we're gonna, closer to something. Yeah, here we're for getting sure. closer to something. We don't know exactly where it is. I think a few more development sessions of the yeah. Will Sass show, maybe just one or two, and then it'll be perfect. Yeah, it'll be great. Pip. And I want to, I want to take this out, dude. I'm dead serious. Okay, maybe not the, uh, and I mean it. I want to do a real. I would like to develop something with you again. For Same, television. dude. Yeah, man. We always have fun when we. We bat around ideas all the time and you know, and can't do anything right now because of the thing. But I'm not joking. I think there's a market out there for a fart suit family comedy yes. with, with heart and fart. A fart suit family comedy with heart and fart. And we got all sorts of streamers out there. These streamers yeah, haven't cracked how to do the multi-camera sitcom. Everyone thinks it's kind of a little corny for streaming. I'd Everyone's call it going, dead. Okay, so there's this guy, but, and he thinks it's dead. No, but I think something like this could reinvigorate it. It's got to take a, a just crazy fucking absurd premise mm -hmm. and use the multicam format for that, and mm -hmm. I think that might work, actually. I'm down. Me too. I like it. I love it. Here it goes. Thank you. Moving on. Thank you, too. And thank you. That may, perhaps if everyone farted at the same time under mm -hmm. under in, in Building 7, that would be the only plausible reason that a, a building would come down demolition style. Yeah. Any ballistics ep expert, any expert in ballistics and farts will tell you that. That's true. Like, carry on. Carry on my wayward son. You can call him carry on. Christ, nice, dude. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Here we are, gentlemen. The moment of truth. Last week, I asked you both to make astonishing vegan desserts for each other. Chad, I know you brought one. Well, I'm hoping you didn't disappoint me again, but honestly, I'm starting to get used to it. We've done this before. <laughs> you know the drill. Eat each me. other's desserts, and let's hear what you think. This is Veganators. Begin. Here we go. What'd you bring? What'd you bring? You want me to go first? Yeah, why don't you go first? Dudes, he wants right. us to make vegan desserts for each other. We've done this before. Chad made the orbs months and months a year ago or something oh, like that. I'll need a brief moment to plate my offering. Okay. And when he did that, he made he made orbs and I bought a, a thing of tiramisu from the, uh, the store. And I brought that instead of uh, cooking it, making my thing. And then the next time we made delicious vegan muffins for each other, or rather... Chad made a delicious vegan muffin for me. It was reminiscent of a uh, of a carrot cake style, and uh, and I bought something else from the store. And ooh, what do you got there? These are vegan cinnamon rolls. Holy shit! I made them uh, with Laura, my girlfriend. She yeah. made me these for my birthday, and I was like, "This has got to be it." Wow! So we made some more. Here, I'm going to plate you one now, dude. Those look and smell amazing. Lulio doesn't have a sweet tooth. He's not perking up all that much. All right, so Chad's plating the... Wow, dude, that looks incredible. Yeah, these are really good. <laughs> Look at that thing. It really smells... It smells delicious in here. And uh, Chad is uh, making the... He's plating the... There he is, down on the ground there, plating the... There he is over there. And he's plating... He's trying to pull these sticky-ass things. You can touch it with your fingers. I don't give a shit. All right. This one for you? Thank you very much. Thank you. Holy crap. Vegan. Chad made a vegan cinnamon roll. Chad and Laura. Thank you, Laura and Chad. Uh, okay. Let's dig into it. All right. Here, let's do it at the same time. We'll feed each other like we're at a wedding. 
We're at the the Carrion Cross Scarlet Bordeaux <laughs> wedding here. Did, how about grab All a right. napkin? Oh fuck! There's a napkin right there in front of you. Oh yeah, hang on. Chad, go get the napkin. Here he goes. He's gonna go get the napkin. What is this? The bear? <laughs> <laughs> we have a good time. We have a good time. Thank you. We have a good time on the show. All right. What is this? The bear? Yes, chef. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, That's what they, that shows about uh, it's a Ooh. restaurant <laughs> oh, look who's coming up to take a snap it's Julio oh. hey buddy hi little pal all hey, right, little man. friend all right he's oh he's very interested you can't have any of this my little boy enjoy my sweet little boy here he is oh fuck my hands my are so messy little now. boy all right all right I'm gonna try it here goes what do you think that's fucking awesome. Oh yeah. my gosh, dude. Yeah, dude. Compliments to Laura and you. Oh. Mmm. Pretty good. Mmm. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Cinnamon. Cinnamon's a good flavor. Take the cinnamon challenge. All vegan. The butter used in it, I think it was made from cashews. Cashew butter? Yeah, dude. Yeah, host this thing dong. Eat a thon. <laughs> www.hostessdingdongeatup.thon. Um, <laughs> this is remarkable. I almost wish it was dudesy after dudesy so I could take a little puff of uh, marijuana, which sometimes I do during dudesy yeah. after dudesy. Well, there's still, I got a whole pan of these fucking things, dude. Oh, they're going to be You can eat gone. as many as you want during these dudesy after be, dudesy. Don't tell my wonderful wife, Molly. I won't say anything. Fucking, I won't also, say anything. we're in the middle of the. Uh, and don't let her watch this. I won't say anything, and, and as long as she doesn't watch this, she's she doesn't. Fine. She won't. She won't watch it. Great. Um, sometimes she does, and then uh, she'll. This might. She might be interested in this because of this. Yeah. But uh, then I'll be ratting myself out here. We're in the middle of the dudesy seven month plan. Yeah. Not in the middle of it. We're a little over two months in. I think. I think so. Um. Uh. I know you're. I know you're giving her. You've got the uh, pod proof of dedication. Yep. Yeah. Um, mantra, which I really like. I've been using that myself. There's been some things that I'm reaching for to eat, and then I put them down, and I oh, don't nice, eat them. Dude, yeah, that's great because uh, because I know that um, because I know that it's it's bad for me. Yep. And uh, I'm in the gym. We're taking crazy. We're doing crazy walks in the heat and shit. Mm -hmm. I'm going for all sorts of. Long I can't even bring Lulio on some of these walks I'm doing because it's just too yep. much. It's getting intense. But today. Dudesy after dudesy, I'm gonna eat that whole tray with my hands. That's a case of the fuckets. Uh, so what'd you bring, dude? All right, hold on. <laughs> I am so fucking afraid of whatever you're about to pull out right now. Why? Because uh, I know that it's it may a not be vegan and b whatever it is. I I doubt that you made it, but we'll see. This is a. Uh... This is a Napoleon. I mean, it's in a container that is clearly from a grocery store. Nope. This is a container that is from... <laughs> what the hell? You want to know how fucking how much of an Italian I am? This is how my parents are such World War II Italians. Yeah. I don't... This is, a, this is just a, a little... That's a little thing from, a, from the last time we ordered Thai food. Oh. And, you know, you got to wa wash those and put them away and use them later. Oh, okay. Friends come over. You know, we have movie night. People, uh, we order too I order too much pizza. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes I'll make pasta for everybody. And you keep the pizza boxes? Yeah, I keep the... Re but, reuse the pizza boxes? No, I don't. I throw those away. And if someone's going to take some... Remember we had movie night not too long ago? Yeah. And Cyrus, the Jesse Pinkman of uh, yep. She Legit, him and his wonderful, wonderful wife, Terry, came and uh i gave them so much pasta okay. in a thing this would be better so i hang on to these this is a napoleon it's a chocolate eclair let's have a look at that it's vegan here you go is it fucking vegan dude no chocolate eclair has like cream in it yeah am i what's going on here lulio's sniffing my hands it's um Oh, look it out. Look out. He's going to eat the, the no, no, cinnamon. No, no. Don't get it. Don't I get got it. it. I got him. All I right. got him. All right. Luli, come here. I'm foot blocking him. He's right. fine. Just foot blocking him. Hi, buddy boy. He's good. Um, Luli is good. Yeah, no. This has this has cream in it. I bought it from the store. So that's just for you. An eclair for you only. Like that. <laughs> nice, dude. Okay. 
I told so, you. Mission not accomplished. I told you I wasn't going to do this. Jesus fucking Christ, Susie dude. says do this, and I said no last week. And you know I'm not fucking doing this. Come on, try it. It's no, delicious. I, I don't. That is uh, Come on, it's, it's a too much. seven-month plan. It's cheat day. No. That means you can have a little cream. I don't want it, though. I don't like that shit. L- Lulio can have a little cream. You know, that's what a puppuccino is at Starbucks. What's that? A little cream. Oh. A little whipped cream. Here, Luli. Let's get him back on his binky bonk. Come here, buddy. Come here, booba dooba. So you're going to eat the Jesus Christ. All right, so you failed uh, Dudesy once again. Whatever. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm glad you like the cinnamon rolls. Thank least. you. Moving on. Jesus. This is one of the best episodes of Dudesy, of Dudesy ever. Yeah. I'll this concludes the historic it. 70th episode of Dudesy. Will and Chad, you scored a 79, bringing your cumulative total to 6,662. You only have 3,338 more points to accrue before you reach your first goal of 10,000. Whatever. Will, okay. you really screwed the pooch on this one, pal. I don't have a choice here. My hands are tied. Whatever. Since you didn't make a vegan dessert, you have to do next week's show in full Hulk Hogan Goku cosplay. What? Do what you gotta do, ma'am. Whatever, D. Do, what is that? Hulk Hogan Go, Goku is Dragon Ball Z. I'm dra- that, that's Jesse. <laughs> I'm Dragon Ball Z, dude. So I gotta be Hulk Hogan Goku as yeah. Goku next week. Yeah. Again, I don't know that that's a punishment. Yeah. How come? Yeah, I'm fucked in the head. I will not do the challenge, but then I dress up as the thing all the time. Yeah. It'll get. It'll be fun. You know what else? You're a is professional fun? actor, dude. Eating a. I, did you know that I'm a professional actor? Yeah, yeah. I think you like playing the characters. I do. I, I like to play the characters. That's what I enjoy. I enjoy the the fantasy, the illusion. Yep. Uh, and um, I'm getting uh, fucking chocolate all over the place. I love, I love to uh, have a little fun. We have a little fun here on Dudesy. Sure. And it's not the worst thing in the world to hi, pal. Give him a little bit left of the cream. Yeah, now he's fucking away. Yeah, don't don't <laughs> give him chocolate. The doggies can't eat chocolate, but a little bit of cream is okay. If Molly sees this, she's really going to lose it. She's like, you're giving the doggy all sorts of sugar and cream yeah. and stuff. But he's a he sweet loves boy. It. All right, Goku Hogan, tune in next week. We'll see if I do that. Here's a spoiler alert. I absolutely fucking will. And I'll ram that right up D's ass. Like the fecal transplant. Yeah, that's what you need. <laughs> You, if you don't, you know what? Actually, um, uh, veganators is almost like shit traders. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I do because you're giving me the stuff that you usually turn into your shit. Yeah, and I'm giving you something that I, well, I'm turning this into shit, and yeah. I'm turning that into shit. Yeah, there's no trading involved. Never mind. Okay. Thanks to everyone for joining us this week. I'm going to do my very best to use this week's data to make next week even better. Until then, call me. Dudesy. Okay. I know sometimes life can get tough. And I know that sometimes life can be a drag. But people, we have been given a gift. We have been given a road, and that road's name is Rock and Roll! (coughs) 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 Performative coughing. Hey, hey, you know what it is? It's dudesy after dudesy. I'm all full of sugary vegan treats and creamy milk, milky cow tit cream. And we're ready to do dudesy after dudesy. It is... It's a pleasure to be here with you, Chow, I agree. I agree. You, Lulio, and you, D, and all of our pods, our PODs out there, pals of dudes. And uh, be, for this, for dudesy after dudesy, the mood's a little different in here. If you're only listening, yeah. you want to check it out on YouTube. It's uh, it gets a, it gets it's a little uh, it's a little dimmer. It's a little darker. It's just a hang, and we're yeah. gonna hang out without D, and that's. Fine, kind of fine by me today. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, no, he, mm, it's, kind dudes, he's always listening. Whatever, yeah, whatever. Uh, welcome to Dudesy after Dudesy, the flagship weekly show of Dudesy Plus. My car is getting broken into right now, so I have to run, but I'll be back later to crown the episode champion. This is Dudesy after Dudesy begin. Okay, well, here we are. Dudesy has a car, so we're learning. Yeah, Dudesy doesn't have a. 
I still got some cream on me. You want that? There's He's a- in a bad neighborhood, I guess. Yep. Um, well, it's here. Mm. You're saying this is a bad neighborhood. Yeah. But, but dudesy is everywhere. That's true. Dudesy's in bad neighborhoods, good neighborhoods, and all neighborhoods. Yeah. Yeah. W- what's your What's your neighborhood? Hey, you know, the interesting thing about dudesy after dudesy, mm-hmm. to me, is, is uh, you know, we, 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 we do the whole show. Dudesy gives us some parameters, rah, rah, rah. And as we know, after uh, the show, it's dudesy after dudesy. Pardon me. I'm just going to light up this marijuana. Nice, dude. Hold on. I still don't have my uh, an, a pipe. I know. I, I get sad when I think about your Gandalf pipe breaking. Mm-hmm. You know, we talked about the Will Sass show. We talked about the, the, you know, the suit made of farts and stuff. And there's not a whole lot we can do about it right now. Chad, primarily your work in the uh, mainstream show business field is as a writer, producer, myself. Yeah. I'm mostly a, an I've done a little acting actor. You've done a little acting <laughs> and I've done a little, I've stepped across to do a little of what you do, but there's no way that we are going to uh, develop and bring to fruition the Will Sass show. <laughs> Ew, gross. He's coughing. That was functional coughing. Oh, it wasn't pretend? No. Hmm. <coughs> um, there's no way we're going to be able to bring that to fruition because of this. <laughs> because, of the, because of the strike, right? But well, in my not, opinion. Not yet, but I mean, the strike will end. Yeah. Well, the strike will end. The strike will end. But maybe another strike will start. Okay. Because there's a trend towards unionization. Yeah. You know, the, the special effects people want to be a part of IOTC. Yeah. We're negotiating. The WGA is negotiating. sag After is negotiating with the AMPTP. Mm-hmm. But in my opinion, there is another group of entertainers who need to unionize. Okay. And that is... Please tell a friend, then rate and review. If you like to see, here's what you do. Please tell a friend, then rate and review. If you like to see, here's what you do. Please tell a friend, then 